Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to my channel or welcome back if you have been here before. Today we are clearly kicking it old school as far as YouTube goes anyway and we are doing a super dramatic guy. This is what I wish I would have worn to go see the Barbie movie yesterday. Sorry, I had an itch on the side of my nose. I think there's a hair there. Um, <laughs> I was going to wear eyeshadow like this um, to go see the Barbie movie with my mom yesterday, but I ended up going for a wing and a hot pink lip instead. So today I wanted to do this look. It's a recreation of a look I did for my birthday a few years ago. I will pop up a picture. I think it's in the regular like portion of the video. Anyway, if you want to see how I got this look, please stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget to like and subscribe, share with your friends, your family, anybody you think you might would enjoy my content. I post all kinds of stuff, hauls, lifestyle videos, vlogs here and there, some cooking, like all the things. It's all here. So I hope you stick around and with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so we are just going to jump right in. My skincare and everything is already on. So I'm going to start with my base and... I honestly don't remember if this was super popular back then, but I just got my hands on it recently. It's the Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. I just have the smaller size of it. I'm wearing this in the shade 5.5. So I have a fresh fake tan on right now. This might be a little bit light, but I'm not overly concerned. So I usually do like two and a half pumps and then I will buff that in with my it cosmetics love is a foundation brush this is a different version I don't know if they've already released their version for this year or not hopefully this stays in focus I've changed my stuff up just a little bit in here to hopefully help with the lighting and stuff and then for concealer I'm gonna go in with the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer this is in the shade NC20 and I'll use this all over where I would normally put concealer I just pump a little bit out onto my fingertip this is probably gonna be a little too light so I'm gonna mix it but I just wanted to go for the, the nostalgic stuff, if I could. I'm going to blend that in with a beauty sponge. And then we'll see if I need to go in with a darker concealer. Well, once it's all blended, it's not too bad. But I would like a little bit more coverage underneath my eyes so I'm gonna take a little bit I'm out of my lighter shade of this which that's fine for right now the jcat stationance aqua concealer this one is in the shade soft tan I usually use the shade buff I just ran out of that yesterday just put a little bit extra under here I don't really feel the need to put any anywhere else There, that's better. I don't have any filters on, but just being in front, I don't even have any other lights on other than the overhead light. Just being in front of this window with the natural light is kind of doing me a lot of favors. I do have it on cinematic mode, but that's just for the background. Now that that is on, I'm going to go in with my powder. How's this for some old school It Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores Press Powder? I do really like this powder. I'm clearly getting tan on it. I think I'm going to go in with my brush that I usually use just under my eyes and with a lighter powder, but I think I'll use this today and just set forehead and chin and a little under the eyes. And 
and then I will use how about use hourglass I normally you guys normal nor you guys know what I normally use and it's the Jaclyn cosmetics she a little smudgy there you guys are this is an older palette not from 2016 or anything but I'm gonna use um, if you're not familiar with this palette these two shades are like the ambient lighting powders so they just give your skin like a soft focus glow like candlelit glow kind of a thing and then this one here is a highlighter you have a bronzer and then two different blushes I'm only going to use the ambient lighting powders out of this palette and I'm going to go in with some other stuff I think for the rest of my face product so same brush I applied the pressed powder with I'm gonna just swirl between the two ambient lighting powders and I will apply this all over my face I did not set my nose with the pressed powder but I will go over my nose with these luminous powders I think it helps the appearance of the makeup throughout the day like if I wear sunglasses or blue light glasses or anything it doesn't look as weird if I use a luminous powder as opposed to like a powder with more coverage or something okay for bronzer I know this one's no longer available. This is the Benefit Chicathon palette. They have different versions of this like all the time, usually around the holidays. Um, I'm gonna use Hoola. And I don't know if it will show up since I have a tan on, but we're fixing to find out. This is fun. So just in the normal places, you would apply bronzer. I might go in with something else over the top but this makeup look is mainly about the eyeshadow, not so much everything else standing out. Like, I think that's perfectly fine for what we're going to do. Okay, and then for highlighter... can't decide between Champagne Pop and Stila. Champagne Pop is like a classic though. I'm gonna do it. This is like the old when it was still Becca. I still have all my Champagne Pops. <laughs> a backup of this that was like the special edition with the champagne bottle and the bubbles. I have that one still in the box. Um, if I run out of this, which I'm sure I won't, I would use it. And I still have her palette, the white one with the little dots on it. I have that. This is a really pretty highlighter. And it still works perfectly fine. The only thing I'm really strict with on expiration dates and being open with makeup is like mascara. And eyeliner and sunscreen. Everything else, if it doesn't look weird or smell weird or break me out, I'm going to use it. That is like a bow linden. I still highlight this way. I like it. Do what you like. Doesn't matter if it's trendy or whatever. I don't care. For blush, I'm going to go in with Dandelion from this palette, which is this like bubblegummy pink one. I might top it up with something different later. I don't want it to be too much of a focus. Yeah, I think that'll be perfect. It's just kind of a barely there pinky flush. And I'm going to contour with Hoola too. I always use my Shade Light palette. Which, that's classic. I mean, mine's actually from the time. <laughs> probably. 
because it's when it was still Kat Von D. I'm going to use the, do you guys remember when these kinds of brushes were so popular? They had the NARS Eda brush and then there was this one. I will use a different brush for my nose contour, but I'm still going to use Hoola. Okay, now for the super fun stuff. It's so much fun to just like do things the way you used to do them, kind of. Okay, I will try to pop up a picture of how I did my makeup like I'm talking about like the eyeshadow it's not gonna be a very good one because it's on snapchat and it's gonna be like a screen grab but I didn't have an actual photo of it and I'm sure at the time I used I don't have a lot of like crazy eyeshadow palettes so this is gonna be controversial we're not talking about the controversy of anything I still really like this palette and it's fun I don't use it very often but I still have it so the um, Jeffree Star and Morphe palette. I need to think of a more Barbie looking thing. There's all these super fun colors. We're gonna be doing we're gonna be doing the hot pinks today. If you don't have this and you want something that can give you a similar similar look, this one from Profusion. It's the Spectrum palette. You can get it at Walmart. I think it's like five dollars. These are wonderful shadows too. You could just stick to these pinks. I'm sure you have some lighter shades of pink in your collection that you could kind of blend in and make it work, but this is a great option. If you don't have this palette or something similar, this is an affordable option you could try. So, we're gonna prime my eyelids. I like never prime my eyelids. This is the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. I did not use this when it was popular. I just got this this year. I'm just going to use my finger and go in just a very light amount all the way up to the brow, all the way in the inner corner, the whole wood space. If you're gonna prime, prime the whole lid space. Don't just do like here, because you put eyeshadow everywhere. Okay. I'm gonna drink. All right cracked it back a little bit. I had never done that. So to start off the look, I'm going to go in with this soft, there we go. I'm, I'm learning. I'm going to go in with this soft, like pinky peachy shade here. So just something similar and a classic M504 brush. I do really love the Morphe brushes. They're my favorite. If you're nervous about working with bright colors, Go in a little bit at a time, tap off the excess. You can always add more. It's very hard to take away. So I'm just going to start setting up the crease with that and we will just gradually work to more pigmented, brighter shades. So that's what that's looking like. I may go in and add more once I'm done. You can always go back and kind of tweak things a little bit. You don't have to just, because you're done with one shade doesn't mean you can't ever go back and pick it up again. I'm gonna go in with a more dense, smaller crease brush. I'm gonna use the M573. So this is the difference. Kind of tell it's still plenty 
fluffy and stuff to blend with. And then I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go in with this more hot pink shade here. And dig my finger into the orange. And I'm not gonna go as high up on my lid as I was with the first crease color. Even, okay, I have hooded lids. So like there's my crease if I raise my lids, but then it's gone. <laughs> So if I were to put the eyeshadow here, where it looks like my cre where my crease is, when I relax my lid, it's gonna disappear. So I'm gonna like fake it and put it up a little higher. What I like to do is kind of, once I get a deeper color, any deeper color for the crease, I kind of like to lightly stamp it. It makes it easier to blend. So just lightly. Tap it through the crease area, and then you can start working, working it out. Smaller blending motions this time. So before I was almost going all the way up to my eyebrow. This time I'm keeping it like about there is as far as I'm going to go. I'm going to go back in with a little bit more. This time stay a little lower than that. And I'm also kind of working it on the inner and I'll work it on the outer part of the eye. I'm gonna go back and forth in between that really hot pink and the first shade we used and bring this up a little bit higher because when I'm looking at it in the viewfinder it's looking a little heavy so I'm gonna create the lid space that I want I'm gonna pick up my first blending brush go back into that first shade and kind of buff over the edge a little bit. Okay, now I'm going to get an even smaller crease brush and go in with an even deeper shade. This is the Morphe M506 brush. I have a couple of these. And I'm going to go in with um, the shade here. Tap off the excess kind of tilting my head back a little bit and I just going around like where my eyeball is in there building this up slowly just gradually creating the depth this doesn't take a lot of time it's taking me more time because I'm recording and it might take you more time if you're not used to doing shadow like this but just enjoy the process I don't I don't take the time to do this very often and it, it's putting me in such a good mood <laughs> I don't know why I put this off but I'm just like no just do your regular eyeshadow this is so much fun Am I going anywhere today? No, we're going to go to town and go get supper at a drive through probably. But it doesn't matter. I'm like shadowed over here, so this is looking a little different. So this eye always takes me more time to get it to look like the other eye. I'm gonna go even deeper, same brush though, into this, I hope you can see it, the more purpley plum shade. And I'm also starting to deepen up the outer and inner corners of the lid. I'm 
Yeah, okay. I have to remember what I used on the lid because I'm almost certain I used a glitter. Now I, I don't remember at all what I used. I'm almost certain though that it was not just a shadow. I'm pretty sure I used some sort of a pigment or a glitter. I have these three to pick from. This is a body glitter from ColourPop. You're not supposed to put it on your eyes. This is a glitter pigment from NYX. And this is some, um, I don't even know. I know I didn't use this one, but it, it could be cool. I think I do still have some glitter glue. We're gonna give the NYX glitter glue a go because I don't have my lit. Glitter glue anymore apparently. Shocking because I used it all the time. We're just gonna give it a go. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. It's not that serious. I don't even know if I've opened this before. I have not even opened this. We have a little filmy thing we can peel. It's not really as satisfying, but that's fine. He's gonna come home and be like, what did you do? Okay, so we're gonna use this. I'm gonna not Fill it. I'm going to take, I don't know why I'm stressed right now. This was always my favorite brush to apply like glitter to the lids or anything. It's a wet and wild brush. You need very little of this glitter glue. Mine always break down here. So I'm just going to focus this where we haven't applied much shadow. I'm going to do one eye at a time. I'm going to tilt my head back a little bit and close my eye. Oh yeah, that was the right choice. This is bringing me so much joy. I have glitter on my cheeks and I don't even care. I'm gonna need some more glitter glue that dried because it took, I took entirely too long. Kind of going over the edges where there's shadow, but not, not too much. Don't ADD and start cleaning. I don't know if you guys can, the camera's not doing it justice probably at all, but it looks so cool. I'm going to like get the glitter off my face as best I can and then I'm going to dust away the rest of it. I'm going to get a clean fluffy shadow brush to kind of help dust away. I'm not going to get it all off, and I'm sure mo more is going to fall through the rest of the day, but that's fine. It's not that serious. Just love the way that catches the light. Okay, I'm going to put the lid on the glitter and the glue. Go back in with this teeny tiny crease brush. Crease brush? 
in the deepest shade that I used and kind of reinforce the crease just a little bit more. And then I'm going to do my lower lash line. I'm going to use the same shades and this brush as well as this like flat definer brush. I'm just going to take this bare brush that I used in the beginning and go with like a skin tone shade. You can use a face powder just to kind of soften the edges a little bit so it like blends out into nothingness. And then I'm going to... I'm going to do my brows and inner corner highlight and stuff. So for brows, I'm still using the NYX Lift and Snatch in the shade black. You might not be able to see me for this part, but I'm just going to, going to, I'm just gonna do the inner corner, inner, I'm just gonna do my eyebrows. You guys, I don't think I've been recording this entire time. I clearly have finished the brows and the lashes and I've applied a lip. We found a dupe for Charlotte Tilbury's Pillow Talk. It's not what I'm using. It's the, I hate to even say this because I don't want people to know. We're not gatekeeping. It's the Jaclyn cosmetics lip liner in the shade cupcake i have a different liquid lip two different liquid lips on top of it at this point but i did one on top and one on bottom and you could not tell the difference i'll do a hand slot even though that's not really the same i'm just gonna kind of blend that a little bit my lips are just kind of disappearing into my face. As much as we're going for old school YouTube vibes, that's not, <laughs> that's not the vibe I was going for. It's a little better. That's pretty good. I still don't know if this is the lip I would have like actually wanted with this, but it's the one that we got. I'll go ahead and do a swatch for you of the lip liners on my hand. So, Charlotte Tilbury, Lip Cheat, and Pillow Talk. Hello, focus, please, and thank you. They're both just as creamy. It's the Jaclyn One in a Cupcake. I don't know if that, yeah. I'd say it's 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 a dupe. It's the closest I've found and I have tried a lot. So I apologize that I messed up the finishing up of the face. I intentionally didn't record like the mascara and the brows and stuff because you've seen that a thousand times, but sorry about the lip part. But anyway, this is I did add a little bit more blush. I used a Jacqueline one of her bougie rouge blushes to kind of top it up. I just felt like I needed a little bit more my foundation in my hair. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to record some more videos after this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, I really hope you did. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you have not already. Let me know what you want to see. Do you want more of these like old school YouTube vibes? Because I do. <laughs> I want to watch it. I would love to record it for you. Um, I'm going to do some more haul videos after excuse me, I have an itch after this. So I will link those down below whenever they go live. This itch is driving me bananas. Oh. So yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for being here, for watching, for hanging out. I will talk to you guys later. Bye.